What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today guys I want to talk about the bad juju and its role in Destiny 2 and when it will eventually be. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also a quick plug on my Discord. I've reopened it back up, joined back in with the chat. And if you'd like to join it, you'll find it linked within the video description. This help there for PC players, PlayStation players and Xbox players and so much more. If you share a passion for Destiny, be sure to join it. Okay, so with the release of the update of Season of Opulence, I can't remember the exact dates, but we got a massive download of a giant patch before it was released. Within this patch, many new items were added to the API of the game. All the new Menagerie gear, the Crown of Sorrow gear, and much more. But what was also found was this, which you can see on screen now. This is the catalyst to the bad juju. I think we can all agree on that. And this was, I believe, the first clue. Thing is, the bad juju isn't in the game yet. Well, we don't think it is anyway. So where is it? Why has a catalyst been added to a weapon that isn't here yet? Well, people, this happened with the outbreak perfected. We found the outbreak at the time it was Prime Catalyst, which had been added to the API. Many, including myself, much like what we think with the bad juju, that this exotic, the outbreak, will come part of the next DLC. But we were all wrong, and it turned out to be a part of a secret mission called the Zero Hour, which was already in the game. Now, many people believe this to be the same for the bad juju, and the weapon is in-game now, somewhere hidden, maybe behind a quest for us to discover. But with the Opulence DLC, and even a trailer for the Opulence, we got even more clues. From the very start, we had lore, which many people believed Callus was hinting at the bad juju. Callus said he tried to lure out a guardian outcast, who was a hive expert named Toland with an old trinket. Also mentioned the old trinket is free for the taking. Also within the Season of Opulence trailer we saw an Ascendant playing version of the Leviathan. These people believe tied together. These also people believe tied together with a secret triumph called The Other Side. Mission title Some Bones Live On After Death. Complete the mission without dying to unlock something. But Bones Living On After Death. A hive expert trying to be tempted out. This trinket is free for the taking. An ascendant playing version of the Leviathan. The mission called The Other Side. This screams bad juju at me. That's for sure. Now all of what I stated is yet it seems to be a part of the game. Unless it's triggered by something that's already in the game. Or yet to be placed in the game by Bungie. I'd love to think that it's in the game right now. But there are too many geeks over on Reddit who just discover things instantly. And it's been what a month or so and nothing about any secret quest has been found within the game. Now the one thing that still confuses me is the menagerie and the time you get at the end. Why is this timer here? I know many people believe and use the excuse that it's to look for lore that's hidden around this uh, activity. I believe there's five or six pieces in total. That could be true but tell me these people, when in the past have Bungie given us extra time after an encounter to go look for a lore? The lore in this game is supposed to be hidden stuff you actually make an effort to go and seek out, meaning grab it while you can while at that certain encounter. So why are we given an extra 5 minutes of time? While others before the recent announcement of the TWAB thought these 5 minutes were intentional by Bungie so we could farm the Menagerie chest. Now Bungie have confirmed that was a bug, the 5 minutes can't be for that. So let's put this into perspective here. We finished the encounter, we get an extra 5 minutes to wonder about the menagerie. Could something be hidden within this place? Now I've seen many videos of doors opening and closing after the encounter with the final boss, weird noises and a few other things. But could the trigger for the bad juju, for the quest for the bad juju be hidden within this place? Well I'd say at this point in time I believe something would have been found already. One small thing at least. I also believe as well people that many of these content creators who are buddied up with Bungie are given clues or something when something else is added and we haven't seen anything yet. Have you never sat there on your chair, controller or mouse in hand and thought to yourself, how did somebody actually figure this out? How did they know this was there? How did they know how to start it? Yes, me numerous times too. So what I'm saying is if the bad juju was already in the game by now something would have been found. I believe like many it will be released out of the blue like we saw with the spindle, sometime soon, maybe just before or a part of the solstice event which comes on July 30th. So the bad juju, more about this weapon. 
for those who didn't actually play Destiny 1 or can't remember. It was an exotic pulse rifle which had one of the best designs to date. Now the exotic pulse rifle was many people's favourites due to its intrinsic perk which was String of Curses. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super and people I forgot how quick this thing charged your super, it's absolutely crazy. Now thanks to Jinsei over on reddit we can see this thing's perks in D2, minus the intrinsic which is classified and in all honesty I ain't sure if Bungie will reintroduce the same intrinsic perk, maybe they will modify it slightly but we will see people. But guys this is the bad juju and the weapon many many people truly do miss including me, I personally cannot wait for its return whenever that will be. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. It seems as though the bad juju will come and be a part of a new secret mission called the other side which is believe you have to complete this mission without dying maybe to get the bad juju quest to prop and it seems as though this secret mission will take part on a, an ascendant plane version of the leviathan but we will see guys any more information drops i will have you covered right here on my channel but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like really does help out if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe if you love all things destiny and like to talk about absolutely everything be sure to join my discord linked in the video description but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one